Hello. Oh, long time I see people. Sorry, I'm moving my camera around. Oh, I haven't been around in a while. Been busy uh, working and sleeping. <laughs> been trying to get sleep because I'm working a lot and yeah uh, what else what's going on I've been watching everybody's videos some people aren't making as many as they used to um, found some new people that I watch so I'm really picky when it comes to subscribing to people I find that I, I delete a lot of people because I don't watch their videos so I just delete them or whatever but I've been I just subscribed to one two like three or four new people one of them's called angry little girl she got featured a while ago um, silver screen girl is another one and uh, who else who else is a new one? Jimmy0010. So yeah. I'm watching them. Um, I also subscribe to... Um, Heidi Scope. Everybody probably knows who she is because she's pretty popular already. She's a, she sings on her vlogs and stuff. She's a friend. She's um, a friend. She's the sister of the first person I ever talked to on YouTube, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, what else? Frig. Clean my room. Ooh, I got new bedding. I'm very excited about it. As you can see, so is Harley. He loves it. <laughs> you might even be able to hear Paris snoring. Oh, what a big stretch! Look at you, pretty boy. Look at you. He's all freaking sprawled out. Yes, that's my new bedding. It's from uh, Style Factory. It's aquamarine and geranium pink or something like that. I don't know. It's like a really hot pink color. Ugh. So, what else? Oh, I started kind of going on dates with this guy. I know that there's a few chicks that watch my videos who, a few of my chick friends who like to keep up with my pathetic dating life. <laughs> but I didn't want to vlog about it because I didn't want to jinx it, so. But it seems to be going well. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it for now. Until I, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, oh, what else? I was unpacking clothes today that my mom sent me that she cl she took a whole bunch of my laundry home because my washing machine was busted. And <clears throat> these are a pair of pants. They're just flannel pajama pants. That fit me again. And I was like, yay! That's, to me, that's better than buying new clothes that are size smaller is when you can fit into something that you used to wear. I haven't worn these since college. <laughs> and they fit me and they're not tight. I was like, what? Get out. They're awesome. <clears throat> I haven't actually been working out lately, which is bad. I should be. I know. But I just, I'm so fucking tired all the time. And after I'm done working, I really don't feel like going to the gym. Like, my feet are fucking just crazy sore. They're getting better, but, yeah. Anyways, I'm happy about that. 
Um, started watching Nip Talk. And I watched like season one, two, and three. Now I'm on season four. I watched them all in like two days or something like that. So now I'm, it's a really weird show, but I like it. Oh, what else? Ugh. I can't think of anything else. I just got out of the bath, so my hair is like insane. Yeah. Oh. Right. Oh, fuck it. It's over there. I just watched, or I just finished reading a book. It's called Lullabies for Little Criminals. It was really good. I loved it. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I think I, uh, yeah, hold on a second. I'll grab it. All right, here it is. Lullabies for Little Criminals. It's got the Canada, what is that? Canada Reads 2007 Award by CBC Radio. <laughs> this is a, it's a debut novel of a girl named Heather O'Neill. Look, I don't know if you can see. Look how young she is. It's really shitty quality. It's a really good book. It's a book about this girl named Baby. That's her name. That's her birth name. She's like 12 to... No, 11 to 13 in the book. And she's raised by her heroin addict father who's like 20... How old is he? 20... He's like 28, I think, or something. He had her... her her mother and him had her when they were 15. So, yeah, he's pretty young to be a father of a 13-year-old. Anyways, it's a good book. It's about uh, living in Quebec. They live in Quebec, or in, well, in Quebec, yeah, in Montreal. And um, they're poor. And it's really weird. She, It's a good book, but she uses a lot of um, really strange metaphors. Like, there's this one part where she's describing the color of the sky, and she says it's the color of a burnt-out light bulb. You know, that smoky gray color that light bulbs get when they burn out? I just thought it was really good. Never heard a metaphor like that before. But anyways, yeah, she writes about Baby and how she's forced to grow up really fast because she's poor and her father's a heroin addict, and she's, like, running the streets, and it's very weird very good. And now I'm reading. Um, what am I reading now? I'm reading Invisible Monsters by Chuck... I can't remember his name. Palin... Palinuk? Or Neuk? Or something. Uh, he's the guy who wrote Fight Club and Stranger Than Fiction. He, he's a really good writer, too. Anyways, this is holy shit, eight minutes and blah blah blah. So... I'm going to go now. <laughs> Bye.